motorcycle, motorcycle in the cars. Motorcycle, motorcycle in the cars. Motorcycle, motorcycle in the cars. Motorcycle in the cars. I just got back from testing uh, the EcoBio oils. Ecomax uh, fuel additive and uh, it almost pains me to say that I got some good results out of this stuff um, it's the first time that I've ever tried any additive that actually did what it was supposed to do um, <laughs> but that's how it is so anyway my first real world test I tried I used my uh, Honda Rebel which is a highly and well maintained vehicle it's got a little over 30,000 miles on it uh, so I set some ground rules to try to keep everything fair and honest. Uh, first of all, I chose a route. I would use the same route each time. It's a 93.2 mile route or 150 kilometers. 13 miles of that would be at 45 miles an hour and the rest would be at 60 uh, miles per hour. Uh, this is all through the uh, foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. A lot of hills. Uh, each ride I would check the oil and the tire pressure before I left and when I got back I would check the tire pressure again just to make sure it was maintained. I went so far as to actually wearing the same outer garments for every ride. That would be, you know, my, my coat, gloves, boots, uh, same helmet with the camera in the same place and I would even try to, to ride in the same position using the same posture all the way through the ride which through every ride which was uh, kind of tough to do but you know i wanted to get the best results i could get um i did not account for the wind because this is a real world test out in the real world and i can't turn the wind on and off but only on one of my rides was there even any measurable wind according to the local weather so it, it didn't matter much anyway um at one point, I tried using some var varying doses of the Ecomax, uh, between one milliliter per two liters to one drop per two liters. And I found that I got my best results when I used one drop per liter. So I guess sometimes with some things, it's better to go less than more. Um, when I first started, the first ride I took, I took without using the Ecomax to get my my fuel efficiency uh, beforehand and it was 63.68 miles per gallon um the first time i put the ecomax in um i was impressed by the power uh be because there was one hill that if i start at 60 mile an hour at the bottom of the hill by the time i get to the top of the hill uh i'm lucky to be doing 55 56 mile an hour and I've, I've got that throttle open as far as you go. And the very first time I put that Ecomax in, I could, I could barely believe it. I was so excited, I, I had to call my brother right away and tell him all about it. But I got to the top of that hill, still doing 60 mile an hour, and I could feel that I had more throttle to go. I really wanted to pull it back and just see what she'd do. But, you know, I couldn't do that because I'm not testing for power, I'm testing for fuel economy. So, you know, actually, after I got done testing, I went back out to that hill and did it. And uh, it wasn't a, a whole, whole bunch more power, but it was enough more power to make a difference. And I was impressed by that. But I'm going to be very honest. I did not get any better on the fuel economy. As a matter of fact, the first time I used it, um, I got very slightly less uh, miles per gallon. <laughs> But, you know, that could be an, a human error of some kind. I don't know. But I did read the instructions, and they said that it takes three to five tanks uh, before you'll get your maximum um, benefit from it. So I didn't give up. I kept, I kept testing it, and I'm glad that I did because the last test I did, I actually got 5.1% better fuel economy by using the Ecomax. And um, over a period of, of just a few weeks, that's, that's a heck of a big savings. So, you know, I'm going to keep using this stuff myself. And this is a vehicle that every other year gets torn completely down and um, cleaned up and, and mic'd out. And any, 
even slightly off mic, you know, piece gets replaced or whatever it needs, gets hand lubed and put all back together again. The, you know, most people don't do that with their vehicles. Yet this vehicle, that's how it's treated. And still, that's what really blows my mind is a 5.1% better on a, on a basically the best maintained vehicle, the, almost the best you can do at maintaining the vehicle. So it, it, that's crazy. I can't wait. I have a car that I have barely maintained at all. It's a very poorly maintained vehicle. I can't wait to try the Ecomax in that uh, because I expect pretty good results. Uh, maybe I'll be let down, but but I don't know. I, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff right now. Um, anyways, anyone who'd like to try this stuff, um, I'm going to put the website up for you. And uh, at the bottom of the video here, I'll, I'll put the... Uh, I'll put some uh, YouTube videos that uh, that I found uh, with uh, some tests on it uh, on run on the dyno. So uh, thanks for watching, and and I, d I hope some of you guys try this stuff. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, later.